Some combinations just don't work. Chocolate and cheese are both good by themselves, but should you mix them? And yet supposedly Coke and chicken blend well. Who would have imagined late night comedian Jay Leno working with celebrities and car manufacturers alike to do a show? It happened and now that great combination is gone. For those of you who missed it, what was this show like and why did it end? So what were you more excited about, the wedding night or the Corvette? Be uh, honest. The wedding night. The wedding night, okay. <laughs> the wedding night. Welcome back to Tuna No Crust and we're going to see why the combination of Jay Leno and Cars got cancelled by the network. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so so you don't miss our next upload. Also, it will help us get to 100,000 subscribers. We must talk about Jay Leno himself for a little bit before talking about his garage. Jay Leno was on TV for a long time before creating a car show. The New York native was born on April 28, 1950 and graduated from Emerson College with a degree in speech therapy and a budding stand-up comedy club. He got his debut on The Tonight Show in 1977. Some of our viewers weren't around for that, but this was just a comedy routine. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm originally from the United States. Any United States people here tonight? <laughs> oh, what a small world. Not funny, no matter where you're from. He appeared in various movies and sometimes got to host The Tonight Show, but he wouldn't get to be the main host until 1992. Jay Leno is known primarily for hosting The Tonight Show, a late-night talk show with celebrities, sketches, monologues, and more. The Tonight Show had several recurring segments, most famously the street interviews of Jay Walking. What were Jesus' parents' names? Uh, Mary and Joseph. Very good. And approximately how many years ago did he live? Oh, gosh. 250 million years ago. 250 million years And the typo-riddled madness of headlines. This seems self-defeating to me. Weight Loss Center has food drive. <laughs> Here's the most honest ad I've seen in a long time. Kingsford might like charcoal. <laughs> and it was a hit. Leno's version of The Tonight Show was so popular that not only did the network let Leno get a clone of The Tonight Show, but when the Olympics threatened to reschedule the show, they gave it the first post-midnight time slot. Thousands of people tuned in at 12.05 in the morning. Some say that Jay Leno got less funny over time, but overall, he has proven himself an adaptable comedian. He entered the Television Hall of Fame in 2014 and has no intention of stopping. Jay Leno hosted The Tonight Show for over 30 years. There was also a shorter show, The Jay Leno Show, that cropped up in 2009. It's the Jay Leno Show! There was a moment of flux when Conan O'Brien hosted The Tonight Show. The Jay Leno Show was a copy of Leno's Tonight Show, but losing Leno caused the ratings of The Tonight Show to drop, so he came back in 2010. Leno was eventually succeeded by Conan O'Brien in 2014, but he wasn't done with television yet. Leno got another deal with NBC to host Jay Leno's Garage in 2015. It turned out that The Tonight Show host was secretly a car collector. He had a few celebrities drive around on a show, so this should not have been a surprise. His massive collection had some real gems that he was probably itching to show off. Little did the general public know, but Leno had a collection of 180 vintage, exotic, and otherwise rare cars stored in his big dog garage. These included steam cars, a fire engine from 1941, and several other new and old vehicles. The list includes several Corvettes, a 2006 Ariel Atom, a 1924 Bentley Twin Turbo, a 1918 Cadillac Type 57 Victoria, and the extremely efficient and affordable 2012 Tata Nano, a compact Indian car meant to move families from a motorcycle to an automobile. He's even got a few electric vehicles like a 2011 Chevy Volt. So what was the show like? Instead of Leno fixing cars, the late night host reviewed them. He looked over every aspect of a vehicle from its history to its paint job to how people use it. He also usually gives the car a test drive, sometimes with a celebrity in the passenger seat. These reviews can be helpful for people who are curious about cars of any sort. The balance of new, old and exotic models means the show has something for everybody. For example, in his review of the Mercedes-AMG G63, he met with someone from the company and talked about how weird it was to see celebrities driving an industrial vehicle along Hollywood Boulevard. 
It's really meant to be a hard-working industrial sort of vehicle, isn't it? Absolutely, and yeah. you can hear them when they go down the boulevard, right? <laughs> so the roaring V8 AMG engine. He knows this stuff well enough to talk about things like that. It's a different kind of show. It's also important to remember that he's a collector and a comedian, not a car repair specialist. And as with his late night TV show, Jay Leno's garage was peppered with celebrity cameos. Here's a short list of celebrities that have appeared on the Comedian's Car Show for interviews. President Joe Biden, Elon Musk, Kelly Clarkson, Jamie Lee Curtis. The show aired during primetime and remained a staple of NBC programming until now. Jay Leno's Garage did not stop because of ratings, but for at least two other reasons. What made this passionate comedian stop his show? This time, there's nothing too nefarious going on at the network. Two major accidents in Jay Leno's garage probably nudged the network into stopping a show. We'll look at them individually. The first accident happened on November 12, 2022. Leno and one of his friends were working on one of his vintage cars when it exploded. The car in question was a 1907 white steam car. Well, I was, it was a 1907 uh, white steam car. So the fuel line was clogged, so I was underneath it trying to clog and I said, uh, blow some air through the line, let's see if we can clear. And then a line and then boom, and suddenly boom, I got a face full of gas. And then the pilot light jumped and my face caught on fire. Some gearheads out there may not know what a steam car is, so here's a quick introduction. There was a time when cars did not run on gasoline. Much like a steam engine, the steam car burned fuel that heated water in a boiler. The explosive part of the engine was not in the engine, it was outside of the vehicle. A steam car from 1907 would have been a status symbol instead of a means of daily transportation. History has repeated itself on that front. The use of steam cars declined around 1939 when electric starters, gasoline and internal combustion engines became much more popular. The steam car in question was one of the museum grade vehicles in Leno's collection. That said, it shouldn't be any surprise that repairing a steam car is risky and difficult. If Leno's friend Dave Kilaki had not been there, he would not have made it to the hospital in time. The resulting burns covered approximately 7% of his body. He had to send his family Thanksgiving wishes from the hospital. Leno was treated for third-degree burns using human skin grafts and much-needed rest. He was out of the hospital 10 days later. When asked if this would keep him from working with cars, he responded, did I learn from this? Of course not. So how, I know that working in under cars and with cars has always been your happy place, your safe place. Right. Do you have now any skittishness? About no, no. Did I learn from this? <laughs> of course not. He didn't want to be a celebrity whining about his injury. At the same time, his unwillingness to stop may have led to the network putting its foot down on the show. The more recent accident happened this year, on January 26, 2023. Al Jay Leno was reportedly recovering from yet another health scare, this time several broken bones from a motorcycle accident. Jay Leno tested an Indian motorcycle from 1940 in Las Vegas, Nevada. He noticed the smell of gasoline when the bike started. Concerned, he drove the bike into a parking lot. The bike tripped over a wire that had not been marked. He flew and the bike kept going. Leno survived with a broken collarbone, two broken ribs, and both kneecaps shattered. And Leno didn't seem like he learned from this experience either. He was oddly glib about the whole ordeal and said he would still ride motorcycles. He added, you can't teach men over 40 anything. Both of the accidents involved vintage vehicles, so that may have contributed to the network's decision to cancel Jay Leno's garage. Put simply, Leno has had two auto-related accidents in relatively short succession. Leno did not learn from either of them. If it means avoiding accidents, we understand this decision, but it's not the only reason. Other sources say that Leno's accidents had nothing to do with the show getting canceled. According to a report on MSN, CNBC had other plans regardless. They axed Leno's show because they wanted more business-related content. It's a little hard to believe that the accidents had zero impact on their decision, but that's understandable too. But for those of you who are just hearing about the show now, you can still watch it. All seven seasons are available to view online at NBC's website. You can also see the majority of the show's content on the YouTube channel for Jay Leno's Garage. Leno nonetheless says he will continue to work. 
Along with the stand-up comedy that made him famous in the first place, Leno hosts the 2021 reboot of You Bet Your Life. But for all the gearheads out there, Leno writes regular automotive articles for Popular Mechanics and the Motormouth column in the Sunday Times. Even if he doesn't have a show anymore, he's still willing to give automotive advice. Jay Leno has earned his place in the Television Hall of Fame. Follow his social media if you're curious about what he's doing next. However, he may try to keep any injuries under wraps.